Hey YouTube, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all a quick update on Litecoin. Right now we're at $95.89. We're up 6.16%. What we're doing is we're working in a little channel right now. You can see those purple horizontal lines. We're working right in between that channel. What we're going to do today, we're going to look at the one day chart. We're going to zoom in probably to the four hour, just really see how we're chopping back and forth in this channel and where we may be heading here. So if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Appreciate you all being here with me today and we'll get into this. So today's a good day for Litecoin. I'm pretty impressed with what we're doing today. So with this channel, guys, we've been working between $86.38 and $103.72. And we've been chopping back and forth. So what we're looking at here, this white line that you see coming across the screen, that's our 200-day moving average. So you can see our fall was so hard and so aggressive up here from around $146. It went all the way down to seventy-seven dollars, and that's where we hit these tweezer tops, and we had a bullish piercing pattern right here, and that got us up into this channel to where we've been chopping back and forth. Now, what we're in is a little equilibrium pattern where we're going back and forth. Here, we put in a little hammer candle, and that was our higher low. And now, what we're trying to do, you see, doji doji. So we had a lot of indecision right here at the bottom of the channel, but now we're starting to get a little bit of follow through here. And what we're doing is running into the 20-day EMA right now, and that's at $96.82. What I want to see for the day, for the close today, and it's going to happen 8 p.m. Eastern time, we need to close up above that 20 EMA for a shot to continue to run up higher. And what we would look to do is challenge the top of that channel then, and that's going to be around that 103.72. If we're able to break out from that I'd look up to the 50 moving average as overhead resistance at around that one probably around 113.95 is what it's looking like right here at that blue 50 moving average 50 day moving average that's going to be an important area for us now to the downside what we would want is continued support right here at $86.38 it's going to be that critical area for us at the bottom of the channel if we are to break down out of the bottom of that channel, we're going to look at the 200-day moving average for a potential buy area at $78.43. That should be looked at as pretty strong support right there. We've seen the bulls step in here. And if we are to move to that downside, guys, the 200-day moving average, that's our longer-term moving average that we need to stay up above. Longer-term investors are looking for us to stay up above that to stay in that uptrend. Now, if that was to break, we'd look down here at this yellow trend line. Ultimately, this is our main trend line. This is our uptrend right there. So that needs to stay intact. What I'm paying attention to on the RSI down here, we're at 46 right now. So we have plenty of room to run to the upside if we want to continue this move. And a whale steps in and puts in some really good volume for us. And what we're also dealing with is a little bit of a trend line break right here on the RSI. If you can see that, we're starting to break out of it. And a lot of times, guys, you can run pretty hard, pretty fast, either to the upside or the downside. Now, if I move that, I want to give you a demonstration here. I can just kind of see it looking at it. So, and then here's a downside break. You see this? And look how far and how far we fell to the downside. So that's what I'm saying. These trend line breaks especially on the line graphs here like the RSI they're very powerful things that you want to look at guys and what I always like to do is step back so right now we're just gonna really step back we're almost gonna see as you can see this was our bear market we were moving and what we ended up hitting was an inverse head and shoulders here and we started to move up and you can see that accumulation or that rounded bottom and now what we're looking at to see if this could almost be like some sort of cup and handle here and if this is the handle and maybe a potential move to the upside we're not there yet we just want to continue to watch these things and pay attention to these things but right now what I'm looking at is just this main trend right here I'm paying very close attention to trends from the macro level all the way down to the micro level now, if we step back here, though, what you want to do is really go through these support and resistance areas. So right now we'd look, this is going to be a main resistance area. We'll just really step back and take a look here. And now what we're going to be looking for is around that 145, 146. Right up here, guys, that's going to be a very tough one to get over to because we have some chop over in this area as well. And then we'd look down see about right in there around that 111.56 so this is what I like to do I like to really first step back take a look at support and resistances go through all that where you find that support that resistance and then what you're gonna do is also go through all your trend lines then you're gonna look for any trend line breaks anything that you may find like that then what I start looking at is the candle formations and then I'm getting into the indicators that's how I like to do it to really step back and get a big picture so this is on the one day you can see the pattern that's shaken out 
I mean, look at the power of these moves, guys, to the upside and to the downside. So that's the importance of learning how to take profit in this market. If anything goes straight up like this, it's going to be coming straight back down. It, it, you want to see good higher highs and higher lows, lots of support. That's what you're looking for. So now we're going to get into the four-hour chart just to look at this channel for you so you can kind of see what it's like when we're working this channel through different time frames. So on the four hour, we now, we came back down, tested with a really long wick there. You can see the bulls stepped in right here, guys. And that's the power of this channel. So you know that this is a true channel. You can see the bulls stepping in right there. So the bears tried to push it down. They ended up pushing it down to around $83.14. And then the bulls pushed it right back up. And what was nice is we made a nice move on the four hour here to get up above that 20 EMA, that 50 moving average, and that 100 day moving average as well. So now what we're going to start looking at for overhead resistance here on the four hour is that 96.95 you can see we wicked up to it there and then I would go up to about that 99.97 we'll call it a hundred dollars psychological so guys I wanted to bring you a quick one here I appreciate you being here with me today just wanted to give you some targets but just really watch this channel back and forth between that eighty six dollars and thirty eight cents and that hundred and three dollars that's gonna be a critical area for us so take care my friends